Hey everybody, Kevin here. I wanted to do a video of the, wrapping up the entire painting process now that I'm pretty much done with painting all the steel parts. I still will have other things to paint like, um, let's see, you got the cowling up there still and some fiberglass parts, but um, I got everything done now so I can start assembling the fuselage and putting all the little parts in the wings and building the flaps and ailerons. So I just kind of wanted to show you guys all the parts and go over the process. I've got everything that's painted hung up still. It's still curing. There's most of the parts. Hard to see, but there's doors and windows up there in the fuselage. Everything turned out pretty nice. Um, it's only my second airplane that I painted, so I'm pretty happy with the results. I'm doing the video tonight, it's a little too windy to go flying, but there's the runway. Oh, I want to let everybody know that um, YouTube just changed the rules a little while ago. I needed a thousand subscribers to um, do live video, live mobile videos again. So tell all your friends and family. I got about 500 something now, so I'm trying to get back up to that 500 mark. Or I'm, I'm sorry, a thousand. But here, let's go over the paint. Show you what I used here. Uh, for the primer, I used all polyfiber products for the primer. It's their uh, EP420 white. You got, um, this is the actual white primer, the catalyst and the reducer. For the top coat, did the Mark II for metal and fiberglass, it's good for. You got your color, your paint, mixing liquid, and your thinner. Some other stuff that I used was this Metal Sol metal cleaner. And then paint surface cleaner. Got these lint-free paint rags at the hardware store. They work good. Don't leave anything behind. Just tack cloths from the hardware store. And then when I prepped everything, I used I like these uh, red Scotch Brite pads the best. They last a long time, and they're not they're not too fine. They're not too coarse, but they do a good job of uh, removing surface rust. And then uh, prepping the paint for the top coat. But I'll kind of go over the process here. Um, as far as mix, let's go over how to mix the, uh, the primer. I kind of made a list here. I'll just go over it quickly. Um, it's one part catalyst, two parts base. You gotta mix them and allow them to set for 30 minutes for their induction period. And then you thin them 50% and then they're ready to spray. And I followed those directions and it worked out really well. Um, I did between, it says to do three coats. I did, um, Probably most of the stuff just two coats. It dries really quick So as soon as you're done painting you can almost pick them up and move them out of the spray booth and uh, Put more parts in and to clean it up. You got to use their um, E500 reducer, which is basically the same thing as MEK um, Here's the mark two so for those instructions you mix one part um, In these instructions I had to find an aircraft spruce the uh, primer I was able to find on uh, polyfibers website I think but um, for mixing it's one part dogs are running away one part uh, color one part mixing liquid you combine those you let them sit for 20 minutes to for the induction period and then I thinned it I think it's 20 percent it says five parts mixed paint to one part thinner I followed those directions and it worked pretty good uh, and then the metal saw you use on bare metal before you paint anything. And the paint surface cleaner you use on a prime surface before you paint with the top coat. You cannot use this metal saw on paint, it'll strip it. It's really powerful and you gotta use a respirator when you use it. All these products really smell so I used a charcoal respirator whenever I was using any of them. But basically the process for the airplane, I got it, it was bare metal. No paint, no powder coat. I had a scotch bright the whole thing, get rid of the surface rust. Then you use metal saw cleaner. After that, you run over, you wipe it down with the tack cloth, and then you spray your primer. And then before you paint your top coat, you have to uh, either sand or, or rub scotch bright over the, the prime surfaces to give the uh, top coat something to bite into. 
Then you use the paint cleaner and tack rag, and then you're ready for the top coat. Sprayed two top coats, and they take longer to dry. I think there's about an hour between each coat. And then after you're all done, it takes even longer to dry. So typically I'd let it, let the parts stay in the uh, paint booth overnight and just let them dry before I would move them. About the only thing I'd change if I were to do this again, I would, I would use this paint again. I'd probably just spray a heavier top coat. I think the heavier you put it on, you don't want it to run, but the heavier you put it on, the smoother it gets. But yeah, it's taken about three months for me to paint all these parts, but that includes building the spray booth and all these fixtures for everything. And you can see I've broken back. I've taken down the spray booth and uh, moved it back. It's only about 10 by 10 now, and that should give me what I need to finish the rest of the parts. I'm just gonna leave this piece on the floor here to protect the floor, but yeah, I'm ready to, to start assembling the airplane now. So I'm pretty excited about that. But yeah, if you guys got any questions or comments, let me know. And yeah, let your friends and family know. Notice to subscribe so I can get to a 1, thousand, a thousand subscribers and then we can start doing live videos again. I kind of like doing those. I know the quality wasn't the best, but in it was nice to come out in the shop and actually have people ask live questions and um, able to answer them right away. But yeah, that's all I got. Thanks for watching.